Welcome to a new fragrance review. Today, we're going to try Bois Mysterieux by Guerlain. So, I'm going to go into presentation. It looks a lot like another Guerlain that I've analyzed some time ago, which is Cuir Intense. Same bottle, and it's in the same line, technically. No, not technically. It is in the same line. It's in Les Absolus d'Orient. And all the bottle looked like this. Just the color that changed. The label also that changed. The other one, it's a bit different. Or if not, the style is pretty much the same. It has a little bit on top. And nothing all around it. I don't have the box because I bought a tester. And the tester came with a white box that I threw away. So we're now going to try to smell. And paper is really different on my skin. The first note that come to my nose on paper, it's the cedar note. And it's really like a natural cedar. Like if you would smell like the wood of cedar in a sawmill or something like that. It's really, I don't know if it's natural. I would assume it is because it's an expensive perfume. And, and it's Guerlain. But it smells really natural. On my skin, it's not the strongest note, but I am going to go later what I smell on my skin. I'm picking up a, a little bit of bay leaf, picking up a little bit of citrusiness. It's hard to know what it is. I, I see that there's a note of Neroli, so I would assume that it's Neroli, that it's really like hidden behind everything. But I still feel the presence of something that is kind of citrusy, but not like a citrus, but something is kind of citrusy, so that Neroli would make sense. It's pretty much it, what I'm picking up on the paper. On my skin, what I'm picking up, it's a lot of bay leaf. And I'm picking up some myrrh already in the beginning. And I'm picking up some cedar. As it keeps going, the bay leaves start to disappear. The cedar is a bit more present and there. And the mirror always stare to stay there until the end. And toward the end, I'm picking up some leather that mix with the myrrh and some patchouli. Longevity for the fragrance is really good. It lasts the whole day. I don't remember exactly how long, but between 7 and 12 hours. Projection is good. A little bubble around you. People will be able to smell you. And for the complete note breakdown, top notes are laurel and neroli. Heart notes are cedar, patchouli, and jasmine. And the base notes are leather and myrrh. And where I would see this... Perfume, I would say it's a really nice business perfume. It smells really different, really elegant. It smells nice. I think it doesn't have to be something that you dress up with, but if you dress up with it, it will look extremely elegant and would fit really well. As a dating perfume, I, I think with the letter inside of it, it will be kind of off-putting for some people. But still, I think it's nice. It would be good as a dating perfume. It's more like a niche side of perfumery. So it's not the usual dating fragrance. But still, it could be nice. And it smells good. People like it. So in the summer winter fragrance, I haven't really tried it in summer. But I think it, it might be a little bit heavy on summer. But I'm pretty sure it will be good. You might just want to spray a little bit less. But it could be okay in summer. In winter, it wouldn't be crazy through the cold winter. We'll have a bit of trouble to go through the cold, but not so much. It's pretty much in the middle. Like too cold, it might be hot, but it will be okay. Too hot might be too much, but it might be okay. But in the middle, it will be good. Like fall, spring would be good seasons for, for this fragrance. And as an everyday perfume, it's different. It's not an everyday scent and it's not like what people are used to. It's not soapy. It's not like those blue fragrances that are good for like every situation. It's not that kind of fragrance at all. It's really, really different. It's not what people are used to smell, but it smells really good. So it could be nice as an everyday scent. It's just not the style that is usually associated with an everyday scent. Also, the perfume last the whole day. So it will be good for that reason too. And who I would see wearing this perfume, usually I, I go around 
something like in our current era. But for me, this fragrance smells really Arabic and really elegant. So who I would see wearing this would be some Arabic king or in the nobility, maybe a pharaoh. I'm pretty sure I messed up that name in English. This is who I would imagine at first who would wear this. And give me also the vibe of that that kind of style of fragrance. Yeah, that's it's pretty much who I think it where it is. Someone that is in nobility, Arabic person in middle age or in antiquity. Especially I think with the myrrh and the the laurel, it makes me think about in the antiquity. And when you think about it, you know, in the, the old time myrrh was something really I don't know if it was common, but it was uh, something that we hear about like in the story of uh, the tree uh, mage king that brought gift to Jesus and myrrh was one of the gift and laurel when we think also of uh, the Roman empire the crown or I don't know how to call that in English that emperor had was laurel so myrrh and laurel really remind me of antiquity and feels like a perfume that come from another age completely and it takes his name well it smells woody and it smells mysterious so hope you enjoyed this video if it's the case well like and share if you tried Bon Mystère here, tell me what you think about it. And if you tried any other one of Les Absolus de Rien, tell me what you think about it and which one I should try to pick up, smell, and maybe even try here in a video. So thanks for watching. See you soon.